So good morning. My name is Nick Dowsett, Director of Intel SAT One Net Network Solutions for Intel SAT, looking after the company's uh, managed services portfolio. Um, a little over a year ago, we announced the uh, launch of Intel SAT IS 29E in 2015. Uh, this is Intel SAT's next generation uh, high performance satellite platform, uh, offering a, a range of KU spot beams, uh, C-band spot beams, offering higher performance than we've seen from a traditional uh, fixed satellite uh, operator. Um, earlier this year, uh, we announced an order for four additional satellites, so that's a total of five satellites that have, have been ordered. Um, the first of those uh, additional four, IS-33E, which is going to be based uh, uh, in the Indian Ocean, it's offering excellent coverage of Africa, uh, Asia. And I'm very pleased to say that last week uh, we announced uh, an order that Panasonic uh, had made for a significant portion of, of the payload on that satellite. Uh, and this was to extend their broadband aero service uh, for routes from Europe to Asia, Europe to the Middle East, and Europe to South Asia. So, you know, very pleased with, with that significant order. Uh, and, and that was uh, a follow up to an order that they placed a year ago for IS 29E, our transatlantic EPIC satellite. The other uh, piece of information that I'd like to convey is, is about the, uh, the work that we've been doing with what we call the EPIC ecosystem. Uh, EPIC is an open architecture platform. Uh, that means that customers are able to utilize the equipment that they have today uh, in their network. This means that no new investment for EPIC uh, and no delaying of uh, investments uh, and purchases of hardware today. Uh, the, the, we, no need to delay. Um, what we have been working with the, the hardware manufacturers and, and new tech in particular is to ensure that uh, come the launch of these satellites, baseband equipment is available to enable customers to take full advantage of EPIC performance. Existing equipment is compatible and will offer enhanced uh, performance using EPIC with the next generation of baseband equipment that we're encouraging new tech to develop customers will be able to see even uh, uh, you know significantly enhanced performance utilizing EPIC so very pleased to to say that new tech have been you know a very willing partner there and uh, you know we're very encouraged by the work that new tech is undertaking you know because uh, of, of the uh, the four contracts that we've announced thus far are on EPIC, they've all been for mobility customers. So, so you know, customers, I, I think generally are assuming that's the focus um, of, of, of EPIC. But uh, that's, that's, you know, that's just one of the applications. Um, cellular backhaul uh, is going to be another uh, significant application that we see benefiting from uh, EPIC performance. Um, also, also trunking. Uh, internet trunking, uh, private line trunking, uh, because of the, the performance of these transponders uh, combined with next generation of hardware from new tech, customers are going to be you know, seeing significantly improved bits per hertz performance. Uh, thus, you know, total cost of ownership utilizing EPIC you know, will be you know, reduced and uh, you know, more, more robust links and more cost effective links for, for customers. So cellular backhaul, trunking, mobility, um, you know, in, in particular we, we see as being applications well served by Epic. Uh, again, two of the customer, two of the anchor customers that we have rise 29E, uh, MTN and uh, Harris Caprock, you know, mar maritime customers. So we, we are seeing them utilizing EPIC and, and seeing, and they, particularly where they have concentrations of traffic um, that the spot beam technology is, is ide ideally suited for. But then, you know, I, might, I must say that, you know, EPIC isn't just about spot beams. Uh, for example, on IS-29, there is a wide uh, KU beam uh, across the Atlantic. So for a, for a customer's thin routes, then the wide beam uh, is, is, is there to uh, complement uh, and supplement 
the spot beam technology for the thick roots.